We are 2022 seconds finally in. back. We're back What's with up, the man, Sean? the man, the myth. Um, last episode you come on, surely it was an episode 100. Yeah, it was episode 100. I was trying to think today what one it was. <laughs> I've not watched that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then finally, we're gonna do one that I'm not so fucked up in. <laughs> oh, you have been, without a doubt, one of the worst, though. No, nah, the loosest for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I told you from day dot. The loosest podcast ever was Volkanovski and his. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually never want to talk about that again. <laughs> That's uh, there's a certain few episodes that will be getting deleted if this podcast ever does anything. Mm. <laughs> it's all my live streams, eh? Mm. But I thought we would kick it off with non-biasedly one of my favourite tracks. So if no one's heard it, I'm going to play it on here. But then you have to go to YouTube and search it so good to get the view as well. Or the Spotify. Yeah. This track goes so yeah, it's dumb, fucking buddy. hard. It really and is. It was so fun to make. The film clip is excellent. <laughs> we, like, just, we just got it. Me and Curb just got a camera and I just woke up and I was like, this is what we're going to do. I was like, I wrote some little scenes. Try to do something a little different instead of just rapping. You know what I mean? Instead it, of just rapping in places. Excellent. So, you know. We just had fun, really. And shout out to the new mug. Yeah, dude, these are dope. They are dope. I will. Maybe just a few. Maybe just a few. That's where it's at right now. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah, killer. Oh, we'll skip what a star. <laughs> I like the monitor here, man. You like it? Yeah. Me and Kirby kept laughing when we were doing this take. Oh, the me in bed, because I kept farting. What's up? You hear conviction, you hear it loud, you ain't bitching. Tough times, got them switching, I'm like sick vicious. Big vision, sending packs across the state. Mission, flipping it switch on the chase, trying to cross my tickets. My circle smaller when my planes went and got larger. Back with vulnerable, apparently they was a target. My fingers sharpened, I'm typing, I'm fucking laughing. I'm here with the apocalypse now, starring Martin. It's Marlon Brando and a bando with a ski mask. Yeah, that beanie's a skill ass. I own beanies. Junkies get bashed. Only taxes, no DMs. I wanna face the face. They run their mouth, I slow it down, I set the pace. That is such a fucking up, snatching chains. Hard fucking. Is it, that's a hook, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what you call it. Only taxes, no DMs. I wanna face the face. They run their mouth, I slow it down, I set the pace. I pull you up. I ain't talking up, it's snatching chains. Every G throw is beautiful. This alleyway the perfect setup And I'll be standing there a drone in an old black get up Storage like shredder but scoring goals off a Same with this tape, we're trying to be serious there with the phone Kirby just kept showing me memes of Sanchez That's a story for another day And even here we're still smiling, like trying not to It's body language, I know it, those subtle movements these dirt dicklers crying back to me, I'm Jack Horner. Shit can fuck you, I'ma really teach you about some loosens. Only heat like a sauna, seven days for a quarter. If you used to cop an else, then it ain't gonna resonate. If you fake with your behavior, you ain't getting what I say. Determine how they act when I hand them from play. I'm Luke Hodge in 08 on grand final day. Only taxes, no DMs, I wanna face the face. They run their mouth, I slow it down, I set the pace. I pull you up, I ain't talking, I'll be snatching chains. They fear left for me, like the traffic's one way. Only taxes, no shit is so funny. I wanna dude. face the face. They run their mouth, I slow it down, I set the pace. I pull you up, I ain't talking, I'll be snatching chains. They fear left for me, like the traffic's one way. Do you find it weird listening to yourself? No, nah, nah, I try to make music that I would like now. Because yeah. I remember I one caring day. about other people. And I make music that I would listen to. One day you picked me up and you were bumping up things. This is when you brought out like Puffy Jacket or something And you were bumping it yeah. And I was like Isn't that weird for you? And he's like, nah, I love it, <laughs> it that started, That's what I mean. 
And I, I did this in Turner's, Turner's gym. Shout out to uh, Team Turner. Yeah, I'm like, oh, look, he's in the sauna. Yeah, that's a wing wing, not nod. <laughs> oh, there you are, Khan. Oh, you see at the end here, did you see the blooper bit? This is when Kobe yeah, kept showing me. Awesome. We're drawing that take, right? Oh, you had to get the real one on. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm trying to be serious. He just kept showing me fucking memes and shit. Who, so. fil who films that? That bit? Oh, you edit them, though? I edited, I edited this all. Bro, that's good. Yeah, I thought I did a good job. I'm, I feel like, like you know, I love film that much. Like, I feel like I'd pick something up over after all these years you, of watching film. You use Premiere Pro, obviously, yeah? Yeah. What's that noise? Oh, yeah, I've got to turn that off. Um, ha how the fuck? Do you yourself obviously self-taught heaps of fucking tutorials and shit? Yeah, that's it. It's not like hell technical, but it's put together well. Yeah, yeah. I've like, I've looked up. It's not janky. It's smooth. Yeah. I'm not doing these crazy edits and that because I'm just doing it just for like the content. You know what I mean? Like I, I make sure I do it to the point that, that I'm enjoying it and I, I think it's quality. I'm not just gonna put it out like to be a content creator. I still want to have my touch to it. I want it to be my thing. And has my niche behind it, if you know what I mean. Like, you see my videos and they're mine, you know what mm. I mean? And I did Peeps as 168 days. Like, you could tell that was me who did that. Mm. I did um, one for Larrikin as well. I did one for Rems. Like, you can tell they're mine. They're nothing overboard, but, like, they 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 hit, you know what I mean? They're, like, they're all you need, you know? They're, they're perfect for the song. That's how I see it anyway. I just have fun with it, man. And I try to make something that I would like. I stop... Caring about anyone else. I'm like trying to impress Kirby. I try to impress Manners. And I try to impress Josh and Scott, like my boys. Ugh. And if I can impress them, I'm happy. And what's good, like, you know, Manners is not going to be a yes man and tell me every single song I do was good. He's a really, really, really brutal ass motherfucker sometimes. Yeah, exactly. But that's, necessarily. Yeah, that's what I mean. So he's yeah. not going to just be a yes man. Like, yeah. I'm like, I like this song. What do you think? He's like, you know, and nine times out of ten, he's like, yeah, that's fucking dope. And, but, you know, sometimes... But one like, time's important. Nah, he's like, that ain't it, bro. I'm yeah. like, I look, because I got this yeah. song on Brunch too, um, and I tried to, like, not sing, but, like, do a, almost a little bit of singing on the hook. And I was like, what do you think? He's like, nah, that ain't it. Big guy. I was like, <laughs> and the steez of it's dope, but yeah. oh, my voice couldn't do it. My yeah. voice is too raspy. It's just not for you. Yeah, my voice can't do shit like that. And I was like, okay, you're right. You're I've right. called Manners up with heaps of ideas before, and he's been like, that's so dog shit, bro. <laughs> and I was like, like, I call him up, he'll G'd up. And I've, I have, I, Manners is the kind of guy where I'll call him just fucking to say, hey, and we'll be on the phone for an hour. Yeah, 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 100%. I can't, because of my job and that, I'm so busy. Um, but I used to see him all the time. But we speak every day, probably. And if not every day, it's every second day. Yeah. So we, I still keep in contact with him. I make sure like he's involved with everything. And happy birthday for tomorrow. Yeah, well, cheers, well, f four days ago when this comes out. But yeah. When's this coming out? This will come out on Tuesday, the week of your little show. Birthday show. The little birthday show at Westside Mushy's yeah. venue, Collision Courses 2. Yeah, almost it's sold almost out. Heard. Is yeah. it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Killer. It's only a small venue, man. Like That's why I was saying to all my family and friends, like, Seriously, you're going to want to get your shit now because, like, I know heaps of them are going to want to come. All the friends, family, and the fans, like, you know, those, that collective yeah. of people, they're all going to want to come, but they're going to, like, it's going to get to the last day as, as as it always does. We might keep veering off, by the way, because we're watching poor, oh, absolutely fucking dismantle Colton right now. Only four minutes left. Four minutes in the fourth, 73 to 65. Well, yeah, that's Paul insane. Francis eats at the shop. Yeah. Yeah, gets yeah, Uber. Yeah, I'm from Christie's as well, mate. Oh, hoo -hoo. and we haven't done a podcast since you shot off to Sydney, Melbourne, Melbourne. Same, same. I'm a 2024 acclaim all star. What's up, son? With allegedly and non biased, the best bars. I think. On the free, on I think I was second. Dion, De DeAndre. DeAndre was very good. DeAndre's so good, and I knew he though, was. like I, I, because D's my boy. He's just so different though. D's my boy, yeah. and I was like, I was saying to him, I was like, you, you were my comp for writing, but like not saying to the point where I overdid it and I stressed. Like 
I did me. I wrote how I would write. Did you I st- did stuck to, uh, stood to my steez. Wore shorts. But, yeah, wore shorts. <laughs> but I just wanted to be like, I want to, DeAndre's my guy, man. Like, and I know he's good. He's so talented. Oh, it was so hard not to say anything on the podcast. Everyone was so happy when you fucking won. It was like, yeah, it was fuck. Sick. Yeah. It gives me goosebumps. Because we asked it, them. Was, look, shout out to the Acclaim like magazine. So good. Like They looked after us. Um, we just got... Like everything was just such a great experience, man. So professional, so friendly, like no complaints. I fucking loved it so much. And um, I remember D though, like DeAndre, he was like, yo, how many votes did we get? And um, they're like, oh, we can't tell you how many you got, but we can tell you like, I'm pretty sure this is what he said. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but he said a minimum of 300 was required. So big love to everyone who fucking took the time and did that shit, you know? And, you know, I put that tattoo comp up and, like, um, I got, like, so we're going to do that soon as well because I'm going to stick to that. We've just been so flat out, but we talked about it the other day, me and Sam did. But, um, so, I think I got about 80 to 90 entries from the tattoo thing, which is good, you know what I mean? So, like, 30%. Yeah. So, so that, just shows, though, that just shows, though, that just shows, though, that killer. I organically was able to gauge... Like, how many votes I got? I don't know if it was 300 on the dot, but they said 300 minimum. I could have got 500. I could have got 302. You know what I mean? Could have got 200,000. <laughs> but it was just it was just cool to hear that and then, like, kind of have a uh, perspective. And when I put that tattoo comp up as well, people were able to see, oh, well, what is this? Who is this person? And so many people reached out, so lovely, just like, oh, bro, as if I've never heard of you before. Like, I was just doing this for the tag, but you're fucking sick, right? right? Yeah, from Adelaide, you know. So there's obviously always an untapped market here with people that don't know you. Like, you know, some people are just used to their mainstream stuff or their bigger known artists. These things like that are smart as well to branch out and attract an audience as well. Like, by giving, it. it's by giving back, man. You know what I mean? Like, you do it to yourself as well. Yeah. There's a lot of artists and that what, like. What leech. I thought about this as well is I'm giving back. I'm giving my people and everyone who supported me an opportunity to get something out of me now. You know what I mean? Like they've given me so much by their attention and their fucking love, their likes, their shares, the like showing their friends my music and it slowly equals up to something. So now I've got an opportunity to give them something. Like, yo, who wants a fucking... Like, what can I do? Who's in my circle? What can we offer as a collective? And shout out to Monop. Shout out to Monop. So I had the idea and he was like, oh, of course. Straight that's away. fucking genius. Acclaim as well when I was over there. They're like, that was fucking good marketing. Like, everyone just loved it, man. It was a good idea. And I just felt like it's a good thing to give back. You know what I mean? Was that the most high level... Was that the most... Was it a hell different production-wise, like... A massive step up into what you were used oh, to. Oh, bro, it was like fucking full professional. Was I it? Was were like, you very intrigued? Because I know that you yeah. obviously being like a cinema buff and you yeah, obviously I was just like leaning cin- around the film crew. I'm like, damn, this shit is wild. Yeah, like, it would have felt like. Did you feel? I loved a, it. Did you feel a bit like pa- like a passenger princess? Yeah, yeah, I loved <laughs> it. I was just wanted to be a fly on the wall for the day. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. I had so much fun. It was so great, like just watching, observing. You got meeting. some features done over there too. Yeah, yeah I got, I got, I got a lot of shit done. I got a, I think I don't know if I shared. Fuck, oh no, I shared a bit of it. Who cares? I got like, uh, no, but I caught up with my boy Mammoth. Um, fucking awesome dude. Just dropped the project called West Side Junkie. So fucking good, man. So unique, so different. Just different noises, sounds, like the approach to it. Love, loved it, loved it. So I went, caught up with him. Uh, first time meeting him, we've talked a little bit, linked up, fucking great hospitality by him, awesome dude, um, took me to his studio, he's just like throwing around beats, and I was like, yo bro, you got a beat? Like, I'm, I'll write some shit right now, he's like, oh fuck, alright, gets this beat on, I lay it down, and he was like, bro, you're like mad efficient with it, I, was like, I got like a structure with Kirby, it works, like that's what we're gonna do, like for me, anyway, and he's like, oh fuck yeah, right, I'm almost done as well, he lays down a verse, I get like um, some samples from a uh, fucking an Aussie film, chuck them in there, give it a little flavor. And then I was like, do what you want with the track, man. Like, that's your shit. Like, I'm just here to bless it. Like, just be, be like, you know, be boys. And then he went and got Husky on it. So now it's me, Husky, and uh, Mammoth. And Husky's Husky's Husky. Like, some every, lots of people consider him the, like one of the goats, if not the goat at the moment, you know, of Aussie hip hop. So I got a fucking joint with him. I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. Chill. Fuck yeah. I shot, I don't think I've announced this, so this is kind of an announcement here. I shot, if, if fucking, if my fans are watching, but uh, I got a single for Brunch 2 done, 
called Rustly Sports Jackets featuring Mogwai. Mogwai's a Melbourne artist. Which you have told me is one of, if not what your favourite artist. Yeah, Mogwai is, no, Mogwai is my favourite Australian artist and has been for the last two years. Since Kirby showed me him and the day Kirby showed me him, I was like, oh yeah, just played a call and then got in the car and just listened to Mogwai. A uh, good friend of mine. I speak to him all the time now. Like Mog dot y. Mog dot y. Yeah. Um. I got a song with him. He's yeah. He, he is my favorite Australian artist. Like, there's no doubt about it. I fucking love everything he does. I think he's so talented. He's like, he's like this close from. I personally believe dropping the right single and just blowing up. Like he's that good of a musician and an artist. You know what I mean? He's not just a a rapper. You know, this dude is a fucking artist. Like, that's my guy. It's crazy to see because I remember when we first, when we did the first podcast, we weren't even like, we knew each other, but we weren't mates. We knew each other, yeah. We knew, obviously knew each other because we had similar, like, similarish friend groups that kind of intertwined. But then mm. you were just releasing. I just released Puffy Jacket. You just released Puffy Jacket. And I don't feel like, at the time, I feel like when you release Puffy Jacket, it's been interesting to see how much you fucking grinded because I don't think you were taking it as I, I was seriously. Like slow, no, I was like slowly taking it seriously. Then. But th- but then you went on your first within like a fucking year. You went on your first interstate tour with yeah, Matt. Like, I've was done it with two. Manners? I've done two of them. Yeah, one of them with another guy in Manners, and then yeah, one with Manners. And then I've been a part. I only went. Did, and you've released some. Back. Like Australia, it's Australia Australian. Me. Australian me. me is still my favorite song by me. That to me has the best beat of all of your songs to me personally. And ninety percent of the beats are Kirby as well. Yeah, that boom bap shit. <laughs> boom bap shit, baby. <laughs> so boom bap rap. Yeah, it's fucking. It's good, man. Like I'm just having so much fun with it. I mean, it's like, but good things I, come to those who wait, bro. Yeah, so it's always like as well. Um, it was like, it's a hobby thing. It's a hobby thing. Rah, rah. Now it's becoming, because I work as well, I have limited time off. Um, on my time off, I'm just grinding with music. And now it feels, it's starting to feel like so fucking like busy. It's not a hobby anymore. It's like a second job, but I love it. You know what I mean? It's one of those, when people get a job that they love, like this is that. I'm just not getting paid, you know what I mean, by the hour or something like that. But I treat, I'm treating it more like that now. Um, more efficient yeah with your time like another thing i don't know if i'm allowed to announce this as well i just keep announcing things i don't know if i'm allowed to i go to brisbane in september to do big sound festival which is like a massive festival up there as well that i'm a part of now is that from the the acclaim acclaim which is super cool though um fuck oh they won (laughs) shout out we got the power to win. They won fucking... They we're beat. from power... Le- no. <laughs> we're from Powerland. Um, wow. Good on you, Leah Leah, you big weapon. But, <laughs> 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But, um, yeah, Sam Power Pepper started following me. Yeah, he's friends of fucking Jamie or something or some shit. He's fucking... I don't know. I think he knows Jonesy or something. Yeah, I've seen, like, realism. You know realism? Yeah, I'll, oh, I'm, yeah, I've yeah. been trying to get realism on. Yeah, I seen like a post like realism, Power Pepper, and Jamie like Harrison. Has he done any of your album covers? Yeah, he did the first one, Fat Boy. He's fucking good, man. and he just did the new merch for me that we're getting. Hopefully, working the with that cunt. He's a ma- oh, bro. I have like he's so efficient. Like he is. I feel like sometimes I can't explain the ideas that I got. Like he I bring. I have so shit. much ideas. I'm just like sending him all these messages. He's like, all right, all right, all right. I got you. Just all right, all right. Okay, let me get home. And I'm like, all right, all right. like me and him talk a fair bit. Me and him are pretty close. I consider that anyway. I love him. I think he's an awesome dude. I barely. I've never hung out with him. We just talk online and he's just helped me. He you know. is the best at his job. He, If everyone was as good at their job as him, you'd all be fucking A-list winners. <laughs> yeah, he's he's so, so good, bro. Yeah, he is. He's, he's so efficient. Yeah. And I sent him the ideas and that and then like, he's like, yeah, give me to like maybe Friday. And it was just like Wednesday, I think it was. I was like, yeah, all good, bro. There's no rush. And then it was like that night, Wednesday night. He's like, look at this. And I was like, Pfft. It's insane. Bro, that's so fucking... For my logo, so shout out to my new merch. But for my logo, 
I was like, oh, I want this, but I kind of want this. And I, you know when you're telling someone something and you're like, I thought I'm asking for too much. This is going to be messy. That's what it's I feel It's going to be like, gross. I feel like, like that's I'm gross. asking, I want like this on this on this on this. Yeah, and yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's like, okay, give me to like um, next week and I'll do it. And then an hour and a half later, <laughs> he's like, I fucked with this design so hard. I just had to do that's it. That's what he said and to me, yeah. the first drawing, like the first sketch, I was like, that's my logo. Like, this is the first sketch he yeah, did. Yeah, it's so good. I was like, that's I'm my gonna fucking show you, logo. I'm going to show you while we're here so you can you can get a look at it at least. Um, Yeah, he did the design. I'm getting so hopefully. You're dropping your merch next week? Well, ho- well as soon as I get it, I'm going to announce it. It's like, yo, here it is. Like, um, hopefully it's next week before the show. This is like a – oh, wait. Oh, then. yeah, take some to the show. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I want. So hopefully this is – so what we're doing is Demolition Band merch. Mm. And look at this fucking shirt. Yeah, I'll fuck with that. I'll fuck with that. Can you put that on camera? Is that a thing? Or are you surprising? No, we'll surprise them. You surprise them. Look at that shit, man. That shit's so tough. That's gangster. Yeah. I fucking love that. It's so tough, bro. That's good. So tough. That's good. Once I sell like another three or four shirts, I'm going to buy a jumper for all the boys that are regulars on the pod. So I'll right. buy you a jumper. Oh, no, fucking it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, right. it's fucking been a big year for you, man. Yeah, it's been real busy, man. And do you know why? And it's still, it's still really busy. You know what I mean? I've got <laughs> the birthday show next weekend. And then seven days after that, I've got a massive show again. That hasn't been announced yet. Um, Do you know what we need? Do you know what the next step is? What? And shout out to the boy Rems from BTRG for the hottest 11 minutes on Take Flight AU. I'm doing that. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to do that shit. When? No, not sort of yet, but we're doing Take that. Take me with you. <laughs> we're doing that. We're Harley doing invited me. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, Are you? Yeah, so um, Hayden, like the guy who runs Take Flight. Like, no we him talk a fair bit, but um, uh, he was telling me some stuff and I was like, yeah, we're, like I'm coming through. Like, we're doing it. And he's like, bro, tell me when you're here. We'll if you it. take me with you, I'll pay for our flights and a com. <laughs> you can, why, why couldn't you come? Of course you could come. I'm just going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I'll fan. I just want to see how they run their operations. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool, all cool, I cool. want to see. Come with me then if you want to do that, bro. Why, why Are would you going to do take flight? Yeah, I've been wondering. I'm 100 percent going to. Yeah, I'm just getting all my stuff finalized for brunch too, so it's almost done now. I've got two verses left, so I've got 14 features over seven songs. Fuck. In my in my opinion, I'm not like I'm not. You're, I listen to anything you put out because you're my boy. I'm <laughs> yeah, not. Course, I'm not course. at all embedded in Australian hip hop. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. But in my opinion, Take Flight is the gold standard. Yeah, for, it's good. Yeah. for Australian hip hop. Yeah, it's like, like that. I, I feel like when you make it onto a Take Flight, um, oh, we've been talking about Cipher, or yeah. and you can freestyle on their platform. Yeah. I feel like that's a massive milestone, mm. especially if you can lay some fucking pipe like Rems did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good, eh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show. I'll tell you what. I'm. I'll. I'll give you. I'll tell you some stuff about it after off the camera mm-hmm. about what I'm gonna do. But um, I told uh, Hayden like. The guy who runs it, and he was like, "Bro, if you come on here and fucking do that, I'm gonna flip this table." And I, I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "That is a fucking crazy idea." I was like, "We're gonna do it. That's what we're doing." I think I already know. What you're yeah, I don't think you me. got no idea. You got no idea at all. But I'll tell you after. It'll be, it'll I'll be. do a fucking thirty. I'll do a cipher. I'll do a freestyle. <laughs> I reckon I can rap. Chat right. me on a verse. Yeah, write some bars or something. I'll write a bar. <laughs> I'll write a bar. I'll write a bar. <laughs> I really want you or or peeps and rems to do. I gotta I visualize a film clip of you in the shed doing a podcast with each other. But like, yeah, think, no, maybe you tell me. That. But it's a think cool idea. old school. Think old school, like Eminem, where he's talking to like, or you're talking to an alter ego, and you're both talking to each yeah, other. Yeah, a few people have done stuff like that though, like the alter ego thing. Yeah, it's like you're talking to. Do you fuck? Here's one. Do you did you used to fuck with Odd Future? Nah, not at all. Not at all. Not but at I all. love. Um, I'm pretty sure Vince Staples was in that. Um, I like Tyler. He's good. I love Vince Staples. He's one of my favorites. Els good. Like Els fucking used to be. I don't know. He, uh, people, bro. He's got a cult. Didn't like, didn't he just bring it? No. Who brought out an album where they were playing flute for thirty minutes? 
uh, Andre 3000 <laughs> from Outcast. <laughs> I thought, no, hey, El, no. El, El Sweatshirt brought out an album like last, two years ago. No, last year. Last, and or apparent, maybe this year. Apparently it was fucking phenomenal. No, it was good. Like yeah, That's just not, sometimes not my cup of tea, but like there's no doubt about it. He's good. Like Tyler's you know, just an artist to me. I don't find him, I, don't, I wouldn't categorize him as a rapper. He's yeah, just yeah. excellent. He's Man a weird rap, artist. Though. Man can rap. Yeah, but he can like, rap. You know, it's like, um, you know, it's all about what you want to listen to and what you want to get out of your listening experience, you know? Like, like Yonkers to me is fucking excellent and yeah. it's a shit song. Like, like he doesn't even like Yeah, yeah, I know that. I've seen him say that. But it's as well like, um, you know, like I'm not trying to be the best lyricist, you know what I mean? I'm painting a picture of what my life has and has been and seen. Very weird subculture of hip hop. Yeah. You know, some people, I, I don't lie in my stuff as well. Like some people, some people lie about what they say. I love his, I love, but I will say I love his like, his film clips and his artistic, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, his uh, artistic, yeah, artistic direction. Yeah, it's really good, 100%. Same with L. that's the same thing with L. But, and we'll go back to how you've been doing for the year. As you know, when you start to rise, have you felt like the Gronks come out to play? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's Gronks for sure. You know what it is though? Like there's it's nothing to do so like obviously the music has like put me into a scene and a culture that I'm I'm very deep in bedded in with now. And what that is though, I'm gonna be myself and I have personal values as anyone else does. I have personal values on what I wanna see in life and what I want around me. So I just can't stand there. When someone breaches those values, I can't coexist with toxic fucking behavior like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm going to stand with my friends. Like some cunts are just like, uh, w w what do you mean? You're going to inherit your friend's beef? It's like, no, bro. I have friends. I'm going to stand with my friends. Like these cunts are such fucking idiots and gronks, bro. Fucking spastics. You know what I mean? Like. I'm going to fucking stick with my mate. What, if you're going to threaten people, bro, or if you're going to say these type of things, like you should ex be ex expect, uh, you should expect to be called out on it. You know what I mean? Like actions have reactions, you know? I don't like, know about other areas in South Australia, but in the South, I will happily, happily inherit a friend's beef. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, For no reason that's at all. That's what I for no reason. Yeah, dude. I don't I, have to like, know I him. Remember, I like, that's what I mean. Like, one of these fucking idiots is just like, as if you're inheriting your friend's beef. And it's like, what do you mean, bro? Do you have, do you know what friends are? Do you know what you do? Like, some people, bro, are just like liars. They're manipulators. Essentially, they're fucking con artists. You know what I mean? They just lie and, and, and fib their way into like certain, certain areas. You know what I mean? Like, they're just bottom feeders, shit human beings, real disgusting people. And like there, it's like I put it on my story. Fake it till you make it is always in display. People are always gonna fake it till they make it. You know what I mean? Like whether that's music or fucking business or anything, acting. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. Can't fake it till they make it. And it's just I've just happened to experience it with people, and I just can't tolerate it. It's just disgusting behavior, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be myself 24-7. I'm going to stand up with my mates. I'm going to be myself around my mates, and when I'm not around my mates, if you talk about my mates when they're not in the room, I'm going to say something, As you know what I mean? Those type of behaviors are the things that I was kind of raised around, and, like, they're my values, you know? These are my personal values. As a human, we all have our own personal values. I don't let anything stress me out though. I'm a busy person. I have my fucking job that's fucking busy as, which I love, you know what I mean? It's a dream job. I remember telling, I won't get into that, but like telling you when I got it and I was like, bro. You're excited. I fucking did it, you know what I mean? A dream job. I've got a good family life. I've got a good lot partner. I've got good Killer friends misses. around me. I prefer talking to her <laughs> than you. i got good friends around me. So like, um, you know, one of these other spastics just like, I'm in this guy's head. Bro, trust me, you're fucking barely in my fucking vision. You know what I mean? Like, I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. Like, when I'm calling out people, I find it fun because I know people crumble in those situations. When you get put in the spot and someone just, like, calls you out, you either crumble or you fucking prove that you're fucking not what they're saying. You know what I mean? And a few of the ones, they're going to be deers in the fucking headlights. Exactly. And they crumble. So, you know... It is what it is. You're going to get that no matter what you do. Like, people are always going to hate on you for some reason. And, uh, 
you know, I'm going to be me no matter what though. That's, that's where it really comes down to. I'm going to stand on 10 toes. All you've got in the world is your word and I'm not going to go back on it. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm having fun. Nothing's stressing me out. I'm fucking, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in 26 years, you know. Bro, so, I fucking wouldn't even go, I would go further than inheriting a friend's beef. I'm one of those, I'm a real fucking petty, holding on a grudge type motherfucker. Same as me. I will. Because that's I how much will, I love my I friends. I still have people from 12 years ago that if I ever see them in town, I will fucking throw a glass at them. <laughs> Bro, one, Still of the, to this one of the day, things that got said to me... For shit I wasn't even involved in. One of these things that got said to me, it's like, bro, this was four months ago. As if you're, like, angry about this. Bro, you, you said some shit. You can't take that back. You said some fucking shit, and that's that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to fucking hold on to that for the rest of my fucking life, son. Like... So, some womp, people. Womp. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. So some people just don't understand that they they're only in it for themselves, and uh, they're just not genuine. They're not. They're not. You know, I, I I went over it, but like, yeah, they're just fucking phonies, essentially, bro. Big fat fucking phonies, you know. Beep's a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, cunts can fucking talk talk all their shit they want, but at the end of the day. They fucking crumble and they're crumbling at the moment. You know, so it is what it is. We'll just see what the future holds. You know what mm. I mean? Let's see what happens in the future. I've been doing everything organically. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. I've been doing everything organically. And um, yeah, let's just see what happens to the unorganic people, the chicken nuggets of the scene. Yeah, that's how that's what I am. I was wondering if you were still vaping. You haven't you haven't touched your vape in a while. I've been smoking this whole time. Have you? I've been smoking this vape. I wonder if someone will count how many times I've smoked. The Sav just said he didn't know I smoke I'm still smoking vape. That's illegal. Yeah, well. Hate me, sister. You know what I mean? Hate me, sister. Shit, son. I was actually gonna message you yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Have you watched the last season of the boys? No, so listen, oh, listen, oh, listen, oh, listen. Oh. So I, I, I've hell wanted to watch. I've hell wanted to watch something with Ash, and um, has she not watched it? Not the boys. So I oh, was like, she's gonna so, love it. Oh no, listen, listen. So I was like, trust me, you're gonna like it. She doesn't like Marvel. So I was like, it's not, it's not. I know, I know. I was like, it's not, it's not, it's not. She was like, okay, let's give it a shot. We got two episodes in. I was like, what do you think? And she's like, next, put the next one on. I was like, ah, right, ah. Right. So we've been watching it and we've just finished, we finished season three. So you're re-watching? Yeah, I'm re-watching, first time for her. We finished season three. So you're up to the second to last season. We've what now we, no, yeah, but now we watch, have you watched Gen V? No, but. Oh, you're going to watch that? Is it good? Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You're going to watch that before season four as if you haven't. No, is that there's the vibe? Sh- yeah, there's shit in it. Oh, is that the vibe? Yeah, there's Fuck. shit in it. So we've watched Gen V one to the last. Is this the fifth season that's out now? Or the no, fourth? it's fourth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. I'll just go watch Gen V now. And yeah. It might. Yeah, yeah. You're, I'm sure you'll notice things. Yeah. It'll be like Easter eggs for you. But um, we went and watched. So oh. we're, we've got one episode left of Gen V. And then we're on to the new season. I haven't seen the new season yet. I don't want to ruin it, but now I understand. Don't. No, I won't. Yeah. But now I understand why. Now I understand why watching Gen V would help because of the last episode. But, Just, but, but I will say, I will say. Oh, don't fuck anything. No, up no, no. I will say. Go on, say it then, you fucking idiot. The Boys is a top two show for me of all time. Okay, I can't wait for this. I can't believe it's almost over. It's a, t- it, it's a top two show. Okay. It's, just, it gets better. No, like, I'm not going to say any spoilers. It I, just, I just don't want to hear that. That, it it gets better every season. Let me, I, you know what I went and did last night? I went and seen Deadpool and Wolverine. Phenomenal. I've gave, I think they're all equal to oh, each yeah. other. Give me your, give me your um, little letterbox. I give them, they're all equal to each other. They're all one, two, and three, or four out of fives. Great film. Four out of five for a fucking Marvel comedy R-rated movie is fucking brilliant. That's my review on all three of them. They're all equal. They all do justice to get a little better and still maintain the, what, number one bought. I think they're all great. Was Wolverine I, coming in tacky? 
no, 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 no. I had so much fun last night. I was fucking. I want to go see it again. Like it, you didn't want it to be over. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, I had so much fun with it. It was so good. I had such a good time, bro. I'm not a Marvel head at all, but I will go out of my way to watch Deadpool. Yeah, it was good it because was... I personally think Ryan Reynolds is when he's on. Now I'm on coke. Maybe. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> I had a cold but at the start of the world. Ryan Reynolds, to me, is one of those actors that actually, like, I don't want to see him not on the screen. Yeah. Like, Heath Ledger's Joker. Yeah. Whenever he's on the screen and he's on, it's fucking yeah. phenomenal. No, nah, it was a great film, man. I went and seen it. Um, I want to go see it again. Like, I, have you watched Godzilla Minus One on Netflix? Ah, uh, no, not yet. No, I haven't no. watched it either. No, I haven't had Netflix in ages. So long. I don't know Netflix. I've just been oh, I've been watching Snowfall. What's Have you that? heard of that? It's about um, it's about this young dude in South Central LA in the eighties. He's like a college dropout, real smart kid, like African American, and um, uh, he like deals weed for his uncle, and he starts stepping it up, and becoming a coke dealer. It starts moving like heaps of coke, and then he goes and goes for a trip or some shit to try to sell coke, and he meets this dude who's cooking coke and took like crack. And he gets taught how to cook crack. And he brings that to like South Central LA, like Compton, Inglewood stuff. And he's the first guy who brings crack there. Fuck. Yeah, and it's fucking hectic, bro. And the show is so fucking good. I remember when I started and one of my mates watches it and Franklin's the main guy. And and I was like, surely Franklin gets hectic. And my friend was like, I don't want to spoil it for you. But well, I will say this. Franklin's fucked up. And I was like, whoa. And it's about how the CIA as well are bringing coke into America, selling it to him. Like large Is it like a based on true events? Loosely, they reckon. Uh, Freeway Rick Ross, who's like, who did stuff like this, reckons it's the show's loosely based on him. But um, uh, yes, yeah, CIA are bringing coke in, cocaine into America, selling selling most of it to him pretty much. And then he's like fucking funding the... Uh, the wars in South America to stop communism. So there's like this arc as well from the CIA's perspective about what he's got to deal with. There's an arc of Franklin and you kind of like see this, this story, bro, it's fucking insane. If you could go back in time, would you invent the internet or crack? I don't know. I don't fucking thought about it. It's such a weird <laughs> I don't know, probably the internet. I don't know, the guy who created internet getting paid. I want to get paid. I'm doing some shit like that. Bro, you imagine... Yeah, well, Franklin's getting paid in this show. I was going to say, you invent crack in yeah. Morphavale. Yeah. <laughs> that's You're going to be that's, the man. No, that's methamphetamines. You're going to be the man. <laughs> that's methamphetamines. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is it... Have you watched... Uh, is it Top Boy? I've watched, like, the original seasons, the old ones. I haven't watched any of the new stuff. Uh, a lot of people say that's a very... Oh, they love it, bro. Have you seen Ozark? Huh? Nah. Ozark? Nah, I haven't. Everyone... Haven't. Everyone... Have you seen it? No. Yeah, everyone says that one's a good one as well. We so should, show to watch. We should watch it. Uh, Manners wants me to watch uh, the King of Mayor, uh, the Mayor of Kingstown. It's on Paramount. It's got Jer- Jeremy Reiner. Reiner. I don't even watch much. I only watch South Park on Paramount. I legit just have. Yeah, Paramount well, I watched South Tulsa Park. King on there with Sylvester Stallone. Apparently, that's good. Yeah, it was a real fun watch. Yeah. It was a good watch. It wasn't like great, but it no, was. No, it's just good. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. I'm, I hope they do another season. Same with the Vince Staples show on Netflix. That was good. I just rewatched Tiger King, and that is always going to be the best documentary of all time. Yeah, right. Have you watched Ties with Shane Gillis? I watched three episodes the other night, and Shane Gillis is the funniest fucking human being alive. Bro, I've been saying, like, I swear, I, I'm probably over exaggerating, but I swear I've been saying for like the last two years, Shane Gillis is my spirit animal. No, like, he's the, he, he, he is the funniest human. Yeah. I think that has almost ever lived. It's just <laughs> his humor so, is so in tune with my humor. You know what I mean? Like, his humor is so in tune with male humor. I want to drink with him. Yeah, everyone know? does now. Yeah, but that's what I mean. In his stand-up, he's got that joke, and he's just like, he's like, ah, uh, talking about downs. No, he's saying sorry to the woman that have to be here. He's like, I already know you guys get it. You'll be driving your boyfriend, but no. But listen to this part of Shane Gillis. I know that happens. 
You know what I mean? And I was just sitting there watching with Ash, and she just looked at me. Bantic has a real male sense of humor, though. Yeah, she does. She does. But girls, well, I was at work the other day, and I, I was showing someone a meme, and it was a very fucking rough meme. <laughs> and I showed it to all the boys at work, and they were pissing themselves. And I just showed it to one of the girls, and they were like, I just don't get it. And I was like, what the... F-? Like, you just, they just don't yeah. get it. That was a... Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. No, Changulus yeah. is the perfect... Comedian to me But Tyres If no one's watched it And they want like 20 minute episodes Old school kind of sitcom yeah. Episodes Just to laugh at Background You so don't have good. to follow along Nah but it's good to follow It's good to follow so along funny. But it's one of those It's not shows. hard though It's not hard to follow no, along but It's very the, easy When he's fucking <laughs> The best When he's Me and my mate Tom in Sydney Have this joke Because we went to go Look at a car for me one day He's a very big car guy And I'm not a car guy Yeah and he walked up to this bloke and he like just opened the engine and looked at it and he's like, oh, the struts are fucked. I'll give you 10 grand. And the car, he was offering like 30 grand. Yeah. And the guys told us to get fucked. And I was like, what the fuck is struts? And then we were, I was watching tires. <laughs> <laughs> and it was with the Asian bloke. Yeah. There's this Asian bloke and he just yeah. wanted an oil change. <laughs> <laughs> and they're trying to upsell him. He's like, oh, the struts are a bit fucked. And then his daughter, like, looks. It was when the episode where they wrote. They're writing on the board. They wrote the, on the board. Uh, the three Ch- Chinese MILFs or whatever. And white trash. And white trash. And I was like, fuck. And, but Shane Gillis play is so he's just himself. funny. Yeah, he's just playing himself. <laughs> oh, bro. Have you seen the pilot to that show? No. It's on YouTube. Shane tried the... So the pilot... Shane that made, they sold to Netflix. Well, I'm assuming they made the pilot, though, in 2019. It's oh, on really? Netflix, yeah. And it's the same three dudes. And um, you can watch it on YouTube. It goes for 10 minutes. And then, you know, nothing happened of it. Like nothing got picked up. And then, obviously, like, you know, 2024 got picked... Or 2023, whenever it is, it got picked up. That's a fucking funny show, man. Yeah. How funny is, like... Uh, what's his fucking name? The Wops. As they say oh, it. Oh, bro. What, uh, Andrew Schultz. Oh, Schultz. Schultz. And he's just like, is, isn't that the nicest ass you've ever seen? So, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's my sister. <laughs> that's my cousin. <laughs> yeah, my cousin. <laughs> would, you, would you fuck my cousin? <laughs> that's so good, eh? <laughs> Andrew Schultz is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. He's crack up. He's, he stand, funny. he's special on uh, YouTube. Have you seen that? Yeah. But he, so, bro, I was many, crying. Do you know how many people he fucked over with that? Why? <laughs> so the story is. He didn't want to go through. Allegedly, Netflix didn't want him on there. Blah blah blah. So not. But the story goes, Netflix didn't offer him money for a special. Yeah. But it was too um outrageous for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he's like, okay, I'm gonna release it myself on my website for fifty dollars or twenty dollars, whatever it was. Yeah. He did that, and then a week later, he released it for free on YouTube. Well, no, he said no. He, I remember him saying though, he was like, yeah, you got. It's gonna come out free, but you guys. He didn't say that. Oh, I swear he did, but he, I swear he was saying no. you guys get like he, this nah, is for the first people. He, 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 he cap, but he cap, but everyone. Do you know what? It's just, it's, but it's it, also like seeing a fucking movie in the yeah. cinema. It would have been. I mean? It would have, and there would have been some background fuckery with his management and yeah. stuff. But like, as well, it's like seeing a movie at the cinema. You know, you're paying to go see the movie when it just came out, so you get to see it first. The, the and only, then, and then. You know, and then it, you know, and then whatever long it is later, it's on TV for free. The only other person in the world that I feel rivals Shane Gillis, but they're so different, is Theo. Yeah, Theo. I like Mark Norman as well. I think he's Mark so Norman's outrageous, fucking hilarious. He's so bro. I seen this thing. I don't know if I, I, I should be able to repeat this. I, I didn't say it. <laughs> you, can, you can repeat it But like it was um, If there's a hard R in there No, just... no, 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 no. Um, Shane, Shane, uh, Mark Norman And do you know Matt uh, Is it McCusker? Yeah, McCusker Yeah, so like Matt and Shane have their podcast And Mark was on it And Mark says something about black woman And uh, Shane like laughs And he's like, Matt's married to one He's like, oh, you're married to one? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah And then they're talking about Matt's kid getting born and he's like, yeah, you know, we had to like uh, have a C-section because the umbilical cord was tied around our son or daughter's throat. And Mark Norman's like, ah, an old lynching, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and Shane's just looking at him, dude. I could not believe it. 
it was that's fucking insane. Oh, I was just there's something about fucking Theo Von when he just fucking is talking about something and then he'll be like, Yeah, the weather today and then he'll be like, You ever just get the need to fucking put some cinnamon on your cock? <laughs> That's how you are though in real life. I know. That's why I relate my little, with my it little so sisters. Much. My little sisters having her. Uh, it's not a good segue. My, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is this is my little sisters having her sixteenth uh, birthday party next week, right? And uh, she was like worried. She's like, oh, I'm gonna be embarrassed by it. not me, but my other brothers or my uncle or I got my auntie coming down and my nan coming down from far away. And she's like, oh, I'm gonna, I don't want them to embarrass me. Oh, uh, uh, complaining, whatever. You know, fucking standard teenager sook. And I was like, yo, for real? None of them are as embarrassing as going out with Sav when he just wants to speak to people. They're fucking nothing. I was like, you think Les is bad? You should have seen what fucking, how fucking Sav made Les feel the first time they met. And she's like, oh. I was like, you're fucking lucky I don't bring him here. <laughs> I do love risen up some fucking cunts. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I was like, I'll bring Sav over to this 16 year old's birthday party. Let him. Uh, oh, well, not Riz. That's the wrong word for a 16 year old fucking birthday. <laughs> I meant, I meant Raz. Raz. No, so yeah, you want to come to a 16 year old's birthday party? <laughs> I feel like I feel like a 16 year old's birthday party is the only time I could be semi intimidating. <laughs> so I would love that. Everyone's my height. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny Two, uh, Scott and Josh Like my two best mates They're invited And they're just like Oh shit This is going to be wild And I was like oh, I don't know It's going to be so funny I feel Bro, like I went to the fucking tab Like three months Four months ago See if it's yeah. tab And I felt like Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> That's not the new Vic eh? Nah No No no, not in comparison of legacy or how lit it is, but like that's the spot where all the young cunts are. Apparently, uh, well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what well, the Vic was. Yeah, they, they, that's the next thing. It's the next closest thing. It's still shit, but. Uh, so was the Vic, though. Do you know what, though? Reality. Shout out to my boy Jacob at Nuri. Yeah. After this, I'm going straight to Nuri. Are you? Nuri on a Friday and a Saturday night, bro. It's so good. Yeah, right. It's just everyone just gets so fucking drunk. And, yeah, right. And there's no... You want me to take you there? There's never fights, maybe. There's never <laughs> fights, maybe. maybe. There's never fights. There's never wankers. The alcohol's good. Like... Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's a good vibe. But nothing will ever replicate the Vic. Yeah, I know. But the Vic wasn't that good if you think about no, it. No, it was perfect. <laughs> It wasn't that good. It's like, it's like a scene it's of Goodfellas. It was perfect. It's because it's, it's the age you were in. The no, memories it's because you of have that friend group. It's the memories you have. It's of because them. of just, it, there was something about every Friday, I wouldn't even have to message the boys. Yeah, no, I would just, just go, go there. there. Or you just go to a house and everyone knows what we're doing. Oh, house parties. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? I remember. Yeah, dude, I've been, I've been a part, I've been having heaps of parties lately. Eh? Let's do like, at I've your been, house. No, no, like I've been at heaps of house parties. Yeah, dressing as medieval people. And I shit, did the eh? medieval one, and then I had a one the weekend after, and then I just had one on the weekend. You see my stories and shit. Yeah, I was, like fucking lit. Did eh? you? You made a deal with Ash. Have you started watching Game of Thrones? No, because she watched fucking four episodes of Sopranos, and that's it. Done. We haven't watched Stupid anymore. Stupid little woman, man. <laughs> Like, what's your fucking mouth? Sorry. <laughs> Stupid little woman. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, but we got into, we started watching The Boys. That's really what happened. You have to watch Game of Thrones. I'm not going to. You have to. I'm just not. You have to. You do, you're doing it out of spite. Bro. <laughs> you're doing it out what? of spite. Bro, guess what? What? Oh. <laughs> your cousin got me that. Uh, he's my mum's cousin. Yeah, it's your second cousin. Yeah. But... To be honest, I rewatched it because I was like, sh- the ending couldn't have been as Bro, bad as I Bro, you tell me the same shit every time it's I see It's the greatest it. show I've ever seen. How many times do you rewatch it? Because every time I see you, and I see you a fair bit, you go, yeah, I've just rewatched Game I of Thrones. I rewatch The Sopranos every year. Yeah, oh, So you do it once a year. But I, I'm telling you, what I'm saying is, every time I see you, you say, yeah, I've just rewatched Game of Thrones. Is Breaking Bad in your top five? Yeah, easy. Top three? Don't know, don't know, don't know. Number no. one is... Don't know. It's hard to think. Like it's not in order. Top five. Top five shows. Yeah. So it'd be Breaking Bad, um, Sopranos, South Park. Fuck, it's so same as me. Uh, you have to put South Park in there. Manners is calling me. No way. Put him on. Put him on. Don't say anything racist, please. Manners, ill. You're on the podcast. 
Oh shit! <laughs> hey, man, yeah, just like yo. You got uh, a shout uh, out. You got a shout out on the pod. Just edit this out, buddy. Huh? Just edit this out. Just edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he edits anything no, out. No, 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 no. I don't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No. Yeah, I tried to call you before, but then um, I got here and started doing this. Going. Is it pretty shit or? Yeah, it's pretty shit. Do you want to do, uh, do, do a freestyle? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't uh, save it. Here, wait, wait, wait. Manners, manners. Uh. <laughs> 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 you had some smoke? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh. All right, I'll let you You're go. You're the man manners. All right, so we're we'll running back. Bro. That was. He was not. He was not. Nah. <laughs> nah, he wasn't ready. Yeah, I tried to call him on my drive here. Um, I had something I wanted to talk to him about. So. You said South Park. Uh, South Breaking Park Sopranos, Bad, Sopranos. South Park Sopranos. Breaking Bad. Maybe Attack on Titan. Oh, is it that good? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and maybe The Boys. Everyone says Attack on Titan is the best anime of all time. Yeah. Like, good entry level? Like, I love Dragon Ball Z. That's my favourite. But, like, if I'm being realistic, like, Attack on Titan is fucking unreal. Is Attack on Titan a good entry level anime? It's just one of the best ever. No, but my, anime can get very hard. Like, Nah, this is not very not hard. It's not approachable. There's, there's fucking 80 episodes, five seasons... And the last two episodes are pretty much a movie split into but two. I tried to it's watch, very, bro. I it, tried to watch Avatar before the live action came out, and it, it was not approachable. Yeah, no, this is very fucking good, bro. Seriously, everyone says that. I want to rewatch it like soon. It's that. It's so. Oh, bro, the twist. The, it's just like, what the fuck? Would you froth over a live action? No. I think they tried it, apparently. Really? I think Ash told me that. Did you watch uh, Airbender? No, but Ash didn't. She said it was good. Uh, I heard from a lot of anime And people. she loves it. She loves uh, Avatar. She's paid, She's played Baldur's Gate 17 times. Something like that. She just finished <laughs> a, She just finished a on a mode, um, which is the hardest setting, and there's no saving or restarting anything. I had a bitch yell at me the and other she just, day. And she just won it. Like, I had a bitch yell at me. The, not, not Ash. No. no, no, but you're not you're not oh, sorry. appreciating that level of feet. I don't know what that means. That, that's why I'm explaining it. She's, honor mode is, the game's already insane, right? Honor mode is the hardest setting, so like legendary setting, and it's also a run through where there's no restarting anything. So you die, you go that's back. It, the whole game's done. You've just lost the whole game. So there's no restarting, there's no saving. And I've seen her struggle already with this game, and she just completed an honor mode, like won the whole game, which is fucking insane. I think <laughs> I was just saying before. Um, I had a woman. You still in, didn't appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's like that is like she as as well. She also told me to tell my friends this. I was gonna maybe we. I was gonna just say <laughs> this girl commented. Why don't you have on any females on your podcast? Maybe Ash could be the third. I don't think the third. I've had two others. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't think she would. She would. I don't think so. She would. I don't think so. Why not? I don't know. I just don't think she would. Are you speaking for her? She doesn't have her own voice. She's not here, is she? So yeah, maybe I call am. her. No, call her. No. She's playing Boulder's game. <laughs> Fucking probably. I went over there last night. She just finished that Onimo thing. I was like, what are you doing now? She's like, oh, I'm playing again. I was like, you've done it all. She's fucking cool. She's a cool chick. <laughs> she's fucking... She's she built different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nah. It's... um. Oops. My bad. You're bad? My bad. You're bad. Yeah, just saying. We're on. Yeah, just something. My top five in not in order. The boys. Sopranos. Yeah. South Park. <laughs> Breaking Bad. <laughs> There's one difference. You get, yeah, Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. It's it's that good that the last two seasons don't matter. Honorable mentions for me. Yes. Um, and this one depends on my day, 
South Park and this one could be switched out just because they're the comedy ones kind of thing. But uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Never seen it. One of my favourite shows of all time. Never seen it. Yeah, definitely, definitely like can switch out and easy be in my top five. Is that with... um Charlie Day and... What's the, the his rapper alter ego? Didn't he make it? No. No, who's a... This is America. No, that's fucking Atlanta. Uh, that's the one. <laughs> Apparently that's good too. Yeah, I watched a bit of that. It's good. No, Always Sunny is Charlie Day from like Horrible Bosses. And Rob uh, uh, McClenny, like Ryan Reynolds' friend. Yes. And Danny DeVito. Is in Always Sunny. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito's in it. Yeah, dude, he's the most disgusting human being ever in it. Really? Yeah, so apparently the story goes, um, uh, the show, did, they did their first season and they were like 10 o'clock at night, they were getting played. Fucking one camera, no budget, just a few friends made a show and it was funny. And then after that, they're like, yeah, listen, like, you know, we like yous, but like, we're going to cancel yous. You need to have like some big star to pull some numbers to. And rumour of that got around and Danny DeVito's kids loved the show the first season because it was so different and just so like funny, like satire dark. And uh, he like reached out and he was like, yeah, I want to be on the show. And they got him on the show and he's been on I the show. I didn't realise it was that like, I imagine Danny DeVito's a big budget. Yeah, yeah, but he got on the show. He wanted to be on her. And he got the show, he's been on it, what are they up to, season 16 they just did? Six, oh, so they're still going. Yeah, yeah, they've signed on to do 18. Is Curb Your Enthusiasm still going? Yeah, last season. Did you ever uh, watch it? I've been still trying to get into it. And I find the funny moments in it. It's fucking funny as, but Is I it just, like a Seinfeld? Is it like, yeah, No, but it's, just like, it's like an R-rated Seinfeld. So it's an acquired taste. But Seinfeld's so funny as well. I just, I don't, I don't It's just it. so relatable. I'm a friend's dude. I was always that as well, but it's so relatable. Like, there's just... Maybe now that I'm older. Yeah, it's so relatable. Bro, I went and watched it maybe two years ago, like binged it, and it's just so relatable. Like, How many seasons? Nine. Yeah, bro. Nine seasons, I think. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's mad relatable just to everyday life. This one's hard, yeah, but I reckon if, if, say you had an unlimited budget, yeah. you can spend it on four actors and a director, but you want to make the ultimate gangster, American gangster movie. Okay. Four male, act, male actors and a director. Yeah. Who you got? You go Scorsese. I think it's already been done. No, no, no. But it's in. It, it has to be your flight. Like you're just. No, you're not just going to go a Scorsese movie with fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my 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 thing's done though. It's Has, already out there. What is it? Is it like Reservoir Dogs? Well, no, but it's just been like you know, it's like fucking Goodfellas or something. You Has know Ray Liotta I mean? been on a fucking? Is oh my god, yeah, it has Goodfellas. <laughs> Goodfellas is my you know, good De, De Niro, nah. Pesci, Leota, and then fucking Scorsese. Like, nah, but I'd put fucking or then you go Soprano in there. Like, he's just such a but, iconic. But then you even go like Scorsese, um, Leo. Uh, is Joe Pesci in Ben Affleck? No, not Ben. ben Affleck. Matt Damon. Would you put Matt Damon? Damon in there? No, have you ever seen The Departed? No. Would you put Matt Damon No, but in? listen, the, the Departed is a gangster movie. It's like 2003. It's I know what it is. I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah, but I think that's got Matt Damon, right? Yeah, that's got Matt Damon. But would you put him in your four? No, but I'm just saying that's another movie that's like that. It's that good, bro. The Departed is that fucking good. Joe Pesci is in Goodfellas, by the way. Yeah, he is. I know that. No, no, no. I was just thinking But yeah, the, the Departed's got Leo, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, Mark Wahlberg, and it's by Scorsese. So good. Goodfellas is the perfect gangster movie. Yeah, I think um, Godfather. Part one. Yep. Do you want to hear something horrible? What? Go on, just say it. You've never seen it. Never seen it. Yeah, it's so good, bro. That there is, like, I think... I've said it on this podcast third, so many but times. Is it, wait, is it the second that's not as good? The second, some people will argue that is better than the first. Third? Third's, like, where it starts lacking. So it's lacking. Yeah, but that mate was made twenty years. Would you later. put Marlon Brando in your in your movie? No. Marlon See? Brando with a bando with a ski, ski mask. mask. The beanie. I don't have a. I don't own a beanie. I just own old ski masks that I just roll up. I have a ski mask in my center console. I think someone stole it when they broke into my car the other shout week. Shout out to whoever's fucking shout with your out. car. Shout out. No, not shout out, but like 
Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know. Bro, I'm going to get fucking are. bank card. I haven't had my third bank card in fucking two months. Cause Is it whenever you go up north? Yeah, yeah. Always, of course. I fucking leave my car. I, I can leave my car unlocked with the windows down in North Vale. Not a thing's going to fucking happen. And everyone shits on it down here, eh? Yeah, no. They're fucking the crackheads like, down here are so polite. They come to tripping, bro. Come to fucking tripping. So much better than I've never How didn't you hear your window get smashed? I know And I was sleeping Do you know what though They probably just got a fucking And just No nah, you know what they did They tried to pop the Because I'm my I've got a, a VY You know the back little windows yeah. The ones that don't go down Next to the windows that go down They've tried to pop that off I've seen where they've Jammed a screwdriver in And then obviously it's fucking Just shattered Shattered yeah um, And I was sleeping from fucking <laughs> Meeting you away from my car. Oh. I was that close to my car. <laughs> How annoying. <laughs> and, I hear, and I got up the next morning to go to work. And I was just like, had a jacket. I was chucking in the back seat because I didn't know how warm or cold it was going to be, whatever. And I, I, you know those uh, wind visors? Yeah. That reflect the sun? Um, like the big ones that cover the whole window? Yeah. I keep one of those under my passenger seat just for summer in there. And I go to put my jacket in the back seat. And I see that wind visor. Yeah, we're good. Did that stop or something? No, 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 uh, no, no. It was just a little out of focus. I seen, I seen my uh, wind visor on my seat and I was like, what the hell? What's that doing there? And I looked up. I started looking up slowly and just seeing little fragments, little bits of glass, then big bits of glass, and then just the window smashed there. And I was like, ah, oh. And then like checked for my car and they've just like fucking took my headphones that's why I got them. Oh, fucking <laughs> He's brought in his head. Yeah, they're five hundred dollars. Got PTSD. <laughs> five hundred dollars, bro. I'm not fucking losing another pair. I oh, fucking yeah. sorry. My oh, oh my. sorry. They stole my fucking Dennis Rodman 1998 Lakers jersey, which one of my favorite fucking jerseys. Dogs. They That's stole my one. fucking portable speaker. Ugh. They stole my fucking nail clippers. They got in there. They stole nail my nail clippers. Fuck. Yeah, and they didn't even fucking steal other shit I had in my car that was way more valuable. I leave my car... Fucking dogs. Unlocked. Cowards they are. They're oh, fucking cowards. I just leave my car unlocked usually. Me too. But Apparently I'm fucking not allowed to do that up there. You know, i got I got fucking Bruno here. Yeah. So whenever Bruno hears a leaf move out the front, he fucking goes mental. Yeah. But he's like kind of like the dog of that cried wolf. <laughs> so one night... <laughs> I was in bed and Bruno's literally smashing his fucking head on the door of my house, like smashing his head, like barking at four in the morning. And I'm like, what's this cunt's problem, bro? Like nothing's out there. And I couldn't hear anything. I'd left my car unlocked. And then I go out in the morning, I get in my car. And you know when you just like, I don't know, like if you you've had... You just fucking no, know. Like, you're like, something doesn't feel I right. I like got in my car and I just felt dirty. I was like... <laughs> Some motherfucker's been in my car, <laughs> eh? And they did not steal anything. I had my gym bag in my car. I had heaps of money. Not money, but change. Like, heaps yeah. of change. Oh, they fucking took every change of my car this to the cent. Hey, they took my change, but they didn't take my clothes, my shoes. I'd you just heaps. said they didn't take your no, change. No, 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 no. I had my change in my clothes and shit. So they took my gold coins. But the only thing they took was... I had a carton of cruises in the car. Mm -hmm. They took all the blue and red ones. <laughs> they left me the yellow ones. <laughs> well, they really had some time on their No, head. they went shopping. Yeah. They did. Uh, I'll take those off. I'll take those off. But shout out to whoever did it. I appreciate that because I like the yellow ones. But like Bruno's fucking <laughs> just smashing his head. I'm like, get over it. Come meanwhile, this cunt's just fucking shopping for cruises. Waving at the car. dog. Hello. Hello, Poppy. But, hello, Poppy. Shout out to... Um, um, what? Hello, Poppy. Hello, uh, Chopper. Hello. Who played Chopper? Uh, Eric Banner. One of the greatest depictions of all time. <laughs> it was very good. One of the best Australian movies of all time. Yeah, it's, it's very good. It's really good. I love that movie. I've got uh, two of Chopper's original books. What? At home, yeah. Shout out to Chopper. Imagine, <laughs> Shout out to Chopper. Imagine him around in the podcast era. He would be thriving. That's what I mean. He would be thriving. If he was born, if he was alive 10 years later, he'd be huge. 
Oh, that was. He'd have his own know. podcast. He'd be. He'd be like. Bro, I just he, flick this thing. I know this is so weird. I'm always fidgeting with things when I'm here, but I just flick this thing and it went round, round, and then went. Whoop. Perfect. Right. I'm a fucking. Legend. Chopper's basically the original Spaniard. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to agree with that, and I'm not going to disagree with that. Are you a hood or so? And and what what would make me a hood or so? Do you say us lad? No. Mm. I say lad, but I've been saying lad for. Do you forever. say us? <laughs> but you don't put them together. I don't say us. You all. don't after no, training no. with the boys. No. Is that no. not a boxing thing? That's not a boxing well, thing. Well, I don't. I mean, I. I don't you know. still training? Yeah, you train a lot. I'm trying to still. I'm just really busy with work. You loving it? What, loving what training? Bouncing around. Yeah, I love boxing. Yeah, I love it. You yeah. do love boxing. I do. I love it. Do you like watching I boxing don't... more than MMA? No, 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 no. I don't watch boxing that much, actually. I yeah. do watch big things, and I try to keep in touch with it and follow. Like, I try to follow enough pages that I can see it and be informed. Big fights. Yeah, be informed as well. Even about small things, and trying to learn who people are, like up and comers, and that. I try it's to. Like, hard. There's so much. I, yeah, but because I love MMA that much, I do that with MMA. <laughs> I love too much things, you know what I mean? I've got too much fucking things I'm interested in. Last weekend when this comes out, but this weekend when we were filming, Bilal Leon. Yeah, what are you doing for that? I am going to be at the M16 Open watching it on my phone, but who do you reckon is going to win? Oh, I mean, I hate Bilal. So. <laughs> Does anyone like him? Aspinall, Curtis Blades. I hope Aspinall. You hope? Yeah. But who do you reckon? Because I got that as my... I'm like, going Aspinall. Man. I got that as my weird upset. I'm going Aspinall. I got Curtis winning by a weird upset. Yeah, I got Aspinall. Paddy and Bobby slash King Green. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know it's who King. Bobby is. Yeah. King. I don't know who King Green is. The King. Um, I think Paddy. I think he's going to improve from his last one. I think he's... He's paying $2. I think he's going to, like... I think, like, he's only going to get better, I feel like. He's still young, yeah? He's no, still, he's what? 34, 33. Paddy's that old? Yeah, Paddy's, Paddy had a massive career in Cage Warriors. Oh, okay. He had a big career. He's not, a, he's not like a youthful... He's, he's young, but he's not, um, he's not like a 26-year-old prospect. Really thought he was, hey? Yeah, he's older than me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and you're That's heaps old. So fuck off, guys. <laughs> I can't wait till you turn 30. Your knees just start Bro, hurting. Bro, I'm fucking 25. Are you? Yeah. You're weathered. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've seen some shit, man. Seen some shit, man. Oh, I've done some things. Yeah, you did it. I've early, done like. some benders. You've done some things. You know. Yeah, bro. I'm 25. Shout out to the boys. We won't keep it long. How long have we done? We have done it. We have been going for an hour and seven minutes. Yeah, let's keep it short and sweet. Keep it short and sweet. I want you... Collision course. This is coming out on Tuesday. Collision course, August 3rd. Uh, so next Saturday, it's going to be great. Um, we've got some merch coming out. We've got a new single coming out in August. Womp Womp. Brunch 2 coming out in September. We're going to be in Brisbane doing Big Sound. We've got uh, another show on the 10th of August. Can't announce it, but you'll see it. We've got things on things. The podcast is fucking going harder and harder. We ain't stopping here as well. We're just going to keep it fucking going. Both of us are. Boom, boom, and go fuck yourself. Don't do nitazines. Yeah, cut. Yeah, hoo, hoo.